There we go guys, first of our business of making some pulled pork is injecting the meat with some broth. <laughs> Next thing we do is first put the gloves on, otherwise you smell like marinade the whole night, which is not the meaning, well I don't like it so. And then uh, we're going to put some oil on the meat. You can also use mustard, I happen to use oil because I had some leftovers. I'm going to use some kitchen towel to put it on. And then, last but not least, for today, we're going to put our rub on. And make sure you be generous and you put it in every nut and cranny. And there you have it. We marinated the meat, so now we're going to cover it up, put it in the fridge and we're ready to go tomorrow. And now the meat is on, we're going to keep it on a steady temperature for about 225-235 degrees Fahrenheit for the coming 4 hours. And every 45 minutes we're just going to spread it a little bit with apple juice and vinegar. Well guys, there we go, it's been four hours and uh, now we're gonna rub it. By the way, you cook it, not for tenderness, you're gonna cook it for the color. I'm happy with this color. And uh, we're gonna wrap it. Then, uh, then we're gonna bring up the temperatures and make it really hot. By wrapping it, we're gonna cook it in its own juices. So it becomes a nice, juicy piece of meat. That's what we want. And make sure you're gonna wrap it a couple times, right? You don't want the foil to... Holy shit, it's a bit windy. You don't want the foil to perforate, eh? Because then you lose all your juices. Not the meaning. Look at that. Once more, then it should be good. Look at that. Like Christmas. <laughs> Christmas comes early. Voila! One nice package. And we're gonna we're gonna put it back on the barbecue, raise the temperatures to like 350, 330, 350, and then uh, we're gonna leave it there for at least four hours. And then it's nice chow time. There we go. We've got our wrapped parcel of goodness. We're gonna stick it back on the barbecue. There we go. Nicely in the center. Because that's where the thermometer is, right? So we know what's going on. So it's a little bit more hot there or cooler there. We don't want to know. This is what counts. And uh, now we're going to fire it back up, raise that temperature to about 330 to 350, right about there, and then uh, keep it there for about 4 hours, that should be good. Here we are, after 4 hours of waiting, it's finally time to get the, uh, the Christmas parcel we call it, right? So after 4 hours waiting, it's finally time to get the Christmas parcel out of the, the smoker. Come on then. Well, there we go. Da -da -da. Christmas is early. Oi, that sucker is hot. Boop. I can't see better. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, here we go. The great reveal. You know as much as I do about this. Ooh, guys. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. That smells fantastic. I should have brought the bowl or a plate, is he? Now we're just gonna shred it on that uh, cooking plate I have. Oh yeah. Ooh, falling apart. Which is a good sign. Uh, 
Ah well, we'll use wash, an extra plate. Who cares? Look at that, it's just falling like apart. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I did bring some uh, some, some forks, because I've seen on TV that this is how they spread But that's not how we're gonna do it. <laughs> we're just gonna use the fingers. Oh, look at that, how easy it comes up. Oh, oh shit, that's hot. I have to use the forks. Okay, I'm kind of a wimp. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Easiest pie. Now I know why they call it pool pork. Hey, look at that. Bit of a smoke ring. Can you see it? There you go. Nice. Got it. Well, not really. <laughs> Nobody can say this wasn't cooked properly. Hey, anyhow. I am going to taste a bit, then I'm going to shred it a bit more, put some barbecue sauce on it, and then I will show you the final product. Fuck, this is awesome. Well, I don't want to be a party pooper, but uh, I pulled my pork while you guys weren't watching. And uh, time to add some uh, sauce. Here we go. Just a little bit of sauce. Now you probably think like, oh, there's not enough. Hans, what are you doing? There's not enough. Well, I'm not a saucy, saucy guy, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna mix everything together. Oh yeah. And the reason I say a little bit goes a long way, like I said, I'm not a saucy guy. We don't really use it as much. But, the meat tastes fantastic too, so if you don't like the meat, maybe you're a rehabilitated vegetarian or so, then uh, yeah, use a lot of sauce. If you like the meat, I would say, ho oh, oh, ho, less is better. Look at that, do you see the smoke ring guys? Bits of bark, everything, awesome. Well. I'm, uh, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to make it on a sandwich. We'll show you everything. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you did, like and subscribe. As usual, you know the drill. Well, sex on the plate. Man, those crunchy bits are nice. I think we'll have this for dinner. <laughs> Don't know if I can make you hear the crunchiness. Yes, yeah, a crunchy part. Fuck, too crunchy. I hear it. Don't know if you can. <sighs> oh, angels singing. Angels singing, guys. Well, that's enough crap. I'm going to put it on the sandwich and we're going to enjoy it. It was a day's hard work. Well, hard. A lot of waiting, but a day, a lot of waiting. And there we go. We deserve a beer. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, well, see you next time.